What up, YouTube? It's your boy, J Tunes, and welcome back to another Mega Team to Glory. Guys, we have an incredible squad that we put together. We're using uh, Boyo at uh, center back. We have, of course, Salah up top with Neymar, uh, with Messi as well. So Neymar, Messi, Salah up top. Our midfield is stacked, of course, with the with um, right guard, uh, Vieira, and also Hullet. And then, of course, we have Sergio Ramos, and, and, and we're doing that whole thing. So we're going to, our team is looking good. Hopefully, it will play well in the weekend league. We'll see if it's a good squad and how I like the Spaniard at center back next to Ramos. We'll see how everything works out. Let's go ahead, though, and jump into our first set of games here for the weekend league. Let me know, by the way, down below how you guys are doing your weekend league. Uh, hopefully, you guys are doing well. But let's go ahead and jump into game number one. All right, guys, going into game one, this is what we're going up against. All right? The new path to glory, uh, of course, Sterling is there, which that card looks pretty damn nice looking at its stats. And uh, hopefully get some informs for anybody who got that path to glory. We might get our hands on one of them if we don't pack one. I do plan on opening some packs as well. Hopefully we can get it. But Hullet starts off the game pretty well there, guys. We get our first goal. And big shout out to the homie here because uh, he hit me up after this game. It was our first match and it's actually a viewer from the channel so it's pretty cool he was a very tough opponent uh playing against him as well and uh, and he did his thing at sterling was uh was was a headache to deal with uh but big shout out to you thank you so much for the support um and, and thank you for the nice message that you sent me after the foot champs games but either way guys we go up by two goals here it's two to one my opponent here nice little move there from sterling i expected him to go straight with it but that little stop and and like cut in like switching the ball from foot to foot just to get the shot off there with sterling to tie it up to make it two all messy now in the 37th minute here is going to pass us off to Salah and we're trying the Neymar for the first time a little bit lucky there it does take a deflection for us to get ahead by one we are of course using the Salah which we used as a super sub last weekend but we are also trying out this Neymar in these first set of 10 games I was trying Neymar at Cam with Salah and Messi at striker uh, we might be switching that out and trying Neymar at striker and Salah at Cam or Messi at Cam and just in rotating those three to see how I like it uh, more but in the first set of games we are using a, a Neymar at Cam just because he has that five-star weak foot where I could take the long shots if I need to be. Uh, we're up by two goals here. My opponent again was Sterling. This is what I was talking about just a minute ago. Uh, Sterling was incredible and in a, a pain in the ass, really, to go up against. Sterling again uh, with it is going to go ahead and pass this off here. Salah, do, my opponent doing really good stuff here, passing the ball around, and he does get it to Salah, and he does tie this up here to make it 4 all in the 68th minute. My defending, of course, still needs work, and I know you guys are probably like, Jay, it's probably because you're using the Spaniard back there, but it's not, I promise you. That was, if I'm not mistaken, Neymar from distance, guys, and that's the reason why I was playing him at Cam. I wanted to use that long shot, and it worked out well. Neymar getting man of the match there, plus he's getting, of course, uh, a 10.0 for that match. Incredible, incredible game. Thank you so much again for the support, and you almost got me, fam. Uh, my defending does need work, but that Sterling was working the hell out of me during this match. We get 646 uh, coins for this match, of course. My opponent with 9 shots, 7 on target, and 47 possession. Uh, we had a little bit more shots on target, and we end up coming out victorious there, so we get our first win in the weekend league. Game 2, I hope, goes a little bit differently. I hope my opponent can't score as many as our first one did, of course, just because, like, my defending, it needs work. And it's not even, like, who I have at the center back position guys i know you guys are probably like jay you made a mistake I, I don't think i made a mistake this this team's incredible guys and i promise you you guys are probably gonna be like yeah you know what it's pretty good after you see the results that we get for the first set of 10 games here but neymar zito doing work just just spinning around inside the box sometimes finding that space to make it one all or excuse me one a nil and then neymar again passes this off to right card off of any like really like stop stoppage play right where it's throw in free kick Whatever it is, it's very, very easy to score. It's been all year. But uh, we get our second goal there, and then the third's going to come kind of off the same here. Good little pass in there for Messi to find Rijkaard. Rijkaard is going to find a Neymar, and Neymar gets another one. So Neymar doing very, very well for us in these first uh, couple of games here, these first two games. I'm really, really enjoying him, and I could say after playing these 10 plus another uh, couple of games uh, that I'm really, really enjoying him. Right guard is winning us pens. He's been doing that quite a lot for me this weekend. You guys will see more of that as well. So right guard doing well for us. We have Hullet coming to the spot. He's going to tuck it away to make it 4-0 before the half. And with that being said, our opponent is going to go ahead and rage quit after making it 4-0. So we get our first rage quit as well in our second game here. So that's going to make it 2-2. Uh, 
2-0. We've won two games out of our uh, 40 that we have to play, so that's pretty good. Of course, getting that 4-0, 481 points for that. We took 10 shots, 7 on target. We just dominated, boys, and we get our second win. Let's move on to game number 3, and hopefully it continues. Game 1 and 2 went well, right? And, and usually, I'm going to be honest with you, the first 5 games are usually kind of easy in my experience that I've been having in foot champs this year. We're coming up against a solid squad here. Some pretty nice red cards, a nice uh, set of special cards there as well with icons and the promise and stuff like that. But Messi right here trying to keep up with it. That Kashoni is very, very annoying yet still to deal with. Salah gets the ball right back though. And of course, that is red Salah at the moment that we are using up top. And Salah's going to pass this off to a Neymar. The one twos, right? Salah getting assists of assists there. So Salah is doing well for me. Um, I want to say that he's not getting as many goals as I want him to be getting, but he is getting a lot of assists and doing a lot of good things there. That nice little spin move there to find the spacer to take the low driven. I am playing him right now next to Messi, and I'm playing him on the right-hand side, which I want to be switching that. So once we put Messi to Cam, we'll be putting Salah on the... Um, on the left side that way we can actually like take advantage of his like not be using his weak foot but besides that Salah's doing well Neymar has really really impressed me that that 95 card that we got from him and Hullet is just doing Hullet type things that's the reason we got him there he's big he's bulky and he can defend and he can also score goals and he makes a lot of goals for us as you guys can see we're gonna win our next game here and check it out look at the Spaniard boys Look at him. He gets himself a goal as well in his debut games here. I think this is our third game. He gets himself a goal as well, and the hair just looks good. Uh, he does very, very well. Look, a 9.6. A 9.6. People told me not to get him, that he's not worth it. He's doing pretty well so far. Like I said, I think we put a hell of a squad together. It's a lot of players that you do see, but some players that are not really being used. Uh, it's, it's especially certain icons and stuff that aren't being used that are working for us right now We're three and oh and hopefully we can continue to make it keep going this way We need to win them all actually game number four four one two one two pretty standard squad here uh, Rio back there of course and Musa up top still using the Musa the speed is crazy on him So I you know, I respect it I respect the moves up there. Vieira doing well there to find Neymar to right guard to Salah. And look at Mr. Messi doing his magic up front. It's going to make it 1-0 12 minutes into the match. Again, Messi with it to right guard. Right guard's going to pass this off to Alexandro. I've been trying to use my fullbacks a lot as well. I've actually in some games taken my fullbacks off. If you guys don't play PS4, a lot of people on PS4 are playing. I don't know if this is happening on the Xbox because I haven't played. But when I speak to my brother, he doesn't see it as much as I do. But people are playing with their fullbacks either on balance or to make the runs. And a lot of people are just pushing the fullbacks forward. I'm starting to mess around with that a little bit more, and it is giving me a lot more space uh, out on the wings, which is kind of nice, but on the counterattacks, you can get screwed. That's why I'm kind of like iffy about it. But if somebody's running it on me, if they're running them on balance or using them on, uh, say, if they're using them on, um, what is it, overlapping runs, uh, I'll do the same so that way I can kind of you know match them and see if maybe we can get back into games and it's helped me get back into games so if you're having that problem you're on PS4 and you're coming up against people that are using their fullbacks on either um, on either a balanced or, or they're staying on uh, or the overlapping runs try to match them instead of keeping them on stay back while attacking it might help you out uh, it's something that I've been working on and messing around with as well so we win that match there guys 5-1 as you guys can see there so another game one and that's four wins a zero losses so far and I'm feeling pretty damn good about the start so far but it could get bad alrighty we're coming up against a pretty dangerous team the Jamaican up top with the Mexican we could be in trouble that pace could be a problem and if I'm not mistaken he does play does he stay in the four I think he goes into the four one two one two or is it the four two three one I can't I think it's four one two one two but it starts off right here a little lucky there guys you guys see that how lucky my opponent gets there like my my player trips over one of his players and del piero's all by himself to score but it's all right because Salah comes back to pass it to hold it and hold it with a great run to make it one all there what a beautiful goal from Hullet. i love that player man i'm so glad we got him but my opponent comes right back the low drivens are still overpowered yes siri and look at this goal here Something I haven't really seen. I'm being honest off a free kick from that angle. I'm going to be stealing that 
definitely going to be stealing that from my opponent but that was a great finesse shot to finish it off there with michael and then in the 50th minute here sala he just like he like the special cards guys and the like big players in this game tap the ball like ahead sometimes like naturally it wasn't me that did that they just do it by themselves and it's actually quite annoying sometimes neymar does well there to tie it up to make it three all oh, can we win this game in the 65th now my opponent with it He's going to pass this off to Lozano. We got the Jamaican on it. Del Piero's through. And he makes it four to three. And my opponent wins, guys. So we take an L. The team is still incredible. My mistake in defense. My opponent was very, very good. Had more shots on target. All that good stuff. It is what it is. We take an L. We're four and one. All right. We, we just can't lose anymore, right? And 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 this is the type of squads that uh, usually don't frighten me at all. I'm going to be honest with you. When I start seeing a whole bunch of icons and big icons and special cards those squads don't scare me it's squads like the one that we had before or straight goal teams that actually frighten the hell out of me we get into this match here guys 27 minutes in solid does work there with the passing back and forth the one twos find the space take the low driven uh it, it it's what works in this game right Messi here passes off to neymar neymar from distance and that's why i put him at cam i want to utilize the five star weak foot i want to utilize his a shot as well and uh he's doing well so far from distance Messi now passes off to salah back to Messi. wide open take the low driven beats the keeper beats everybody actually there everybody was like closing on they were collapsing on him and he still scored the goal in the 90th mo my opponent with a great through ball here to salah and a great finish from him but as you guys can see like the really really big teams don't scare me at all it's the little teams man it's the not the little team it's the goal teams the regular teams that actually do work on me right those are the ones that screw me every single weekend we took 14 shots 12 on target with 54 percent possession and we only scored three goals so we need to work on our finishing as always but we're five and one so far in this first set of games all right we just got to keep this going if we can go a nine and one that would be a good start for us like I said in every video and every foot champs my whole thing is to go eight and two uh is 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 what i aim for okay i aim for better but if i can go eight and two i'm happy with that because that guarantees us at least elite two if we can do better to get the elite one of course i'll be happier with that start off the game here three minutes in holy gets himself a goal to start this off my opponent here with Dybala again do well in defense there with ramos but it falls right back to Dybala. he just runs around the whole damn defense because everybody gets all intertwined or intertangled or whatever words you want to use there and he makes it one all but it's all good because Messi comes right back here to somehow get a little lucky there myself and it falls to Salah to make it two to one and can we hold it because it's still early as hell 42 minutes in look at Hullet making the run baby give it to him he stays with it look at look at big boy Hullet man I love Hullet I love his dreads I love how big he is in the game I, I just love Hullet in general he's a beast gotta love Hullet. Salah now to Neymar. Bang! 4-1 boys! 55 minutes in and that's going to be game! Because we're gonna get ourselves the win as always! Well not always. Almost always. <laughs> Look at those shots. Only four uh, to on target and four shots. We get the win though. That's all that matters. Six and one. Not bad. Mega team comes up. What goes through your head? Let me know down below when you see this team on your screen. Do you go holy sh- I'm in trouble, or do you like, man, I got this. Me, I'm like, I got this. Look at that. Look at that ball from Hullet to right guard. Right guard making the run. Bang, baby. 1-0 very early in this match. Then my opponent comes right back up, bro. Like, come, are you kidding me? That's a great cross. Uh, R9 there just to bang it in. And then we come back with Neymarzito. Brazilians on either side are just getting it in. Neymar does it, make it 2-1. to And look at that goal there, that cross. And how the hell does R9 get his foot to that to score that, boys? That's crazy-ass goal. It's all good. It's 2 all. Messi now. Neymar. Neymar. Low driven. I'm telling you, it's the battle of the Brazilians right now. Neymar on one side, R9 on the other. Who else is going to score for us? Vieira now gets it back. Oh, well, gives it to Salah. Excuse me. Salah now to Messi. And Messi gets it. The Argentine does work. It's 4-2, to two, boys and girls. And we win this match, of course, because of it. So we, I think I missed a goal there. Did I miss a goal there? If I did, I apologize. Either way, guys, 
We win 4-2. We had more shots on target, more shots in general, and 58% possession. We do work, and we're 7 and Uno. Next match. We come off. That was a pretty big win. That was a big team. Glad I won it. Um, I have taken some else of teams like that, but we get the win this time because of our defense. I'm being honest with you. I'm really, really, really liking Puyol in, uh, in, um, in that center back role. I know he's not the quickest center back in the game. And a lot of people overlook him, but he's doing very, very well. Now, it could be that my my uh, midfield is so strong with the right guard, Hula, and also Vieira there to come back and help. And then, of course, we do have Ramos X in the team of the year, Ramos, which is super fast. So maybe he's getting help there, but I'm really, really, really enjoying the card so far. Again, it's still early in weekend league, but doing well. And the other card that I'm in, in, enjoying uh, probably the most and making weekend league fun again for me is that Neymar. That Neymar card has been awesome. We win that match there, guys. A three a nil um and we took seven shots five on target that seems kind of like a like a a trend doesn't it seven shots five on target all right we're almost done with our first set right we have what not our uh, eight and one right now hopefully we can go nine and one our opponent again coming in with the f a troop here of course he is going to bring somebody in for that uh cm position uh but we get right into this guys four minutes in messy low driven it's easy 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 takings in the beginning of a match i always score like i'm being real with you it seems like i always score in the first like 10 minutes of the match i put it in eight minutes in two nil my opponent after this is going to pause it and yes guys we're going to get ourselves yet another rage quit um i don't remember the stats for uh neymar i will try to show you probably in the next video or maybe at the end of weekend league what his stats are for the whole weekend league but I know he's super positive right now, and he's done incredible for us. So very, 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 very happy with the situation that we're in right now. We are doing work and smashing it, guys. So we are now 9-1, um, and one, and hopefully we can do that again. If we can go 18-2, uh, and two, or even if we can go like... 16 and no i don't want to go 16 and 4 hopefully the next set we can do kind of the same another 9 and 1 would be great again um i really don't care where i place for the weekend league i'm being honest with you i'm just playing the games having fun with it uh aiming for the elites if i can get to elite three elite one or elite two i'm happy with it but either way we start off well the team is strong as hell i know you guys are enjoying the team you guys should try it out if you can make a team Try the Spaniards in defense, guys. I'm enjoying it. You guys let me know what you think about everything down below. As always, thank you guys so much for all the support. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy FIFA, make sure to subscribe. And as always, guys, thank you guys so much for all the support. And I will see you guys in the next one. Deuces, baby.